Cassie B, this is just for you. For the thousands in attendance and the millions watching around the world, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get it! Y'all ready to rumble with this spaghetti? We're getting ready to crank her up here in Wills County. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. Coming up. Y'all hang tight. Okay, y'all. First of all, gonna cut up these uh, veggies here. Onions. Got a few pieces of onion in here. Got some green pepper. Got some red pepper. And. Got some yellow pepper. And them's all bell peppers. All right, let me cut this up with a knife here. Get it in the frying pan. I'll be right back. Hang on. Okay, y'all. I've got my. Yellow bell peppers cut up, my red bell peppers, and my green bell peppers with some green onions. Uh, I know y'all have heard me say I didn't like green onions, uh, or I didn't like onions. I don't like them raw. I will eat them if they're cooked, like in spaghetti or uh, soup. Chili beans, stir fry, something like that. I will cook, eat them if they're cooked, but I don't like them raw. All right, y'all. Now it's time to add the hamburger meat. Let me get it out of the fridge here. There's a pound in this package, almost a pound. And this package, there's uh, 1.25 pounds. So you might as well say about 2 pounds of hamburger meat. I'm going to put this in here and let it cook up. With them onions and green peppers and red peppers and yellow peppers. Hmm. Throwing with one pack. Hope everybody's had a blessed day today. If y'all ain't seen my latest videos I uh, done yesterday, I was over at the neighbor's house trimming up some trees for the limbs was so low she couldn't get up there in the trees to mow so I've been trimming them up for her. I've still got to go back over later on probably today and finish up. I didn't get done with it yesterday. More lambs than I thought. But I will go back over there because I told her I would do it for her. Alright, I gotta find me chopper here or something oh that's my hand here when that roar hit the thumb boy that hurt i'll use this chopper thing right here i guess something to stir my hamburger meat up with them onions while it's cooking this stuff you know cook up get your meat good and brown i like mine pretty brown looking Got my stove top eye set on five. You want the slow cook there. You don't want to cook it too fast. Let's get that once it starts cooking, that hamburger meat gets broke up and all. And my 
peppers and stuff and mix into it a little bit better. Okay. Throw in a little bit of salt while she's cooking here. Some pepper, black pepper. Add a little flavor to it, seasoning. It'll take a little bit for this to cook. So, while that's cooking, I'm going to go out here and grab me a cigarette outside. Smoke outside, y'all. I'm going to grab me a lid to put on here to cook better. I've got to set on, like I said, the stove out there on like five. We let it cook here for a little bit. I'll be right back. Come on, honey, you can get over there. I'm at lid for that. Got one down here somewhere. Another. Hopefully, this will be big enough. Yeah, big good enough right there. Something covered up there a little bit. That right there might have been better. I don't know. I'll have to have one for that pot. That can go to that pot. I'm going to put the sauce in anyways. Let's see. That ain't no bigger, so. That'll work right there. Y'all, I'm going to let that cook for a little bit. And I'll be right back. Don't y'all go nowhere. Hang tight. Okay, y'all, I'm back for a second here. I come back in here to stir it up a little bit. Uh, and probably let her cook some more. I'm going to stir it up a little bit here. You want that hamburger meat, like I say, good and brown. After I get this done, uh, I'm going to put the other ingredients in a pot. After this gets done, and it's going to cook some more in a pot. First of all, like I say, you want to fry the onions and peppers in the iron skillet here to begin with. Get your meat, like I say, real good and brown. You don't want that red-looking meat. I got her flipped over here. I may add a little bit more salt and pepper since I turned her. There ain't nothing like my aunt always said. Like good old homemade Getty. She calls it Getty. Y'all see in my title when I upload this video. I didn't say spaghetti, I said Getty. Okay, I'm going to throw a little bit more salt and pepper on there. Or some salt. Now uh, here's some pepper, black pepper. Okay, put the lid on it, let it cook a little while longer. And, hey y'all, I'll be back. Y'all hang tight. Alrighty y'all, come back and check again. Alright, she's getting good and hot there y'all. Making a mess over here. I'm gonna have to clean up. That, hey, it's splattered out there. I guess yeah, it'll be all right. Oh, huh. mess just comes along with cooking. I like to cook. Sometimes I don't like cleaning the mess up. 
But it is what it is. If you're going to eat, you have to cook. Boy, that's already smelling good. I'm telling you. All right. Yeah. Ain't going to be much longer. Let it cook a little while longer here. Got to stir it up again. I like them onions, you know, they cook pretty good in them peppers. That hamburger meat boy is going to be killer in there. I guess Cassie V is doing her video. Uh, I believe she said she is going to do baked spaghetti. I told her I was cooking mine on the stove top. I have done uh, baked spaghetti before. I prefer uh, stove top. <clears throat> I told her baked spaghetti is drier than stove top. And she said, well, you just ain't cooking it right. So I want to see how she cooks hers. All righty, y'all. Gonna let that cook for a little while longer. Y'all hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back again. Let's see what it's looking like here. I'd say it's been cooking now for, I don't know, probably about 12 minutes or so. Y'all hear Roscoe outside there on the porch barking. He probably won't in, but he's not coming in. He smells this spaghetti. Smells it uh, cooking. He's like, hey, I want some of that. Let me in. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Hey, there'll probably be uh, a little bit of leftover. I'll give you a bite once I get it done. Yeah, it's still got to cook a little while longer, y'all, so. Gonna let it cook a little while longer. Boy, it lid is hot. Let it cook a little while longer. Cover her back up. Y'all, I'll be back here in a second. Howdy, 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 I'm back again. Uh, check on my hamburger meat, onions, and bell peppers. I've been uh, cooking here now about 16 minutes. Oh yeah, she's coming together. Coming together. Like I say, I got the stove out, y'all set on like five. You don't want to turn it up too high, it'll burn. Burn it and still cook it. All right. Still, probably about another four minutes. I'll come back about another four minutes and stir it up. So... I'm give it about another four minutes. Like I say, I like that hamburger meat. Good and brown looking. Plus, it gives them onions and peppers time to cook down. While that's uh, finishing up, here, uh, do what I'm going to do now. Let's see here. Get me a dish rag over here. Wipe this stove here out, bro. Put some water on this 
this right here. I was watching the news the other day talking about them fires that they have up here in Canada. It's like 400 different wildfires they are saying in Canada. Wow, that's amazing. 400. Somebody has to be, I think, setting them fires, starting them. What do y'all think? Plus, uh, it said on there over 6 million acres have been burnt. That is crazy. Okay. I want to find me a pot now. Find me another pot here. Because I've got to get my sauce and stuff in it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to mix it up here. Plus, I've got to do my noodles, and I'll do my noodles in the microwave, y'all. I'm going to wait till I get my hamburger stuff there fixed. I'm going to pop down here. Okay. I'm going to use this one. I'll use this in here for my noodles. It's a microwave safe bowl. Uh, there it looks like it's dirty, but it's not dirty. It's just where it's wore out. I always check my dishes. Make sure, you know, there ain't no dirt in them. A lot of times I'll rinse them out before I even cook any, start cooking anything in them. And that way they're good and clean. I don't like cooking dirty, y'all. Yo. Alright, rinse that now. I'm going to wipe it out here with a paper towel. This one, like I say, I'm going to do my noodles in here. I'm just getting it prepared for right now. Alright, I'm going to set it right here on there. I wiped it down. I'll have to put the noodles in it here in a few minutes. Let me find my other top here. I'm going to do my sauce in. Uh, we're going to get her done here before long, y'all. Have some good old spaghetti. I'll be eating on spaghetti now for a couple days. Let me wrench this pot here out. It is clean looking, but I'm still... One, two, ranch her out. This is where I'm going to finish my sauce for my spaghetti. This pot right here. Alrighty. Put that there, right there. Is that there? Be ready here. It won't be a second. Okay. I'm looking for some olive oil. I've got some here somewhere. Mom's got this cabinet packed full of stuff. Right here. Here we go. Olive oil. <clears throat> well, yep, y'all hang on just a second here. I'll be right back here, man. That's it. Okay, y'all. I'm going to do put a dab of olive oil in here. That keeps your sauce from sticking to the pan. Put that in there and sort of try to even it out there on the bottom. Like I say, that olive oil will help keep uh, your sauce from Sticking to the pot. 
I've got to drain that hamburger meat here. Get all the excess grease out of it. Okay. Got that done. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm going to use for my sauce. Got one 24 ounce of Hunt's traditional pasta sauce. You'll see that. Looks a little dark looking. But there it is. That's 24 ounces. One can of that. Okay. Two cans of Italian diced brazil, garlic, and oregano. Diced tomatoes. Italian style. Two cans of that. That's what I'm using for my sauce. Plus. A can of Rotel. Mild. One can of Rotel. Mild. It's got diced chilies in it. Rotel, I use it in quite a bit of stuff I cook. Okay. Let's see here. I'll get my sauces down here. Or spices. Let's see what they at. Oh yeah. Alright, I got some Italian seasoning right here. Uh I'm gonna throw a dash or two of that in there. Once that hamburger meat gets done, I've got to drain it. And Orego. Put some orego in it. And minced onions. Y'all can see that? Minced onions. Put a little bit of that in there. And that's all the seasoning I'm going to use in that. All right, let's see. I've got some parsley flakes up here. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I believe I will. Put a little bit of parsley flakes in it this time. It shouldn't hurt nothing. That's spicing it up a little bit too. Okay. The hamburger meat should be about ready here. Let me check it again. Like I said, I'm going to have to drain it. I ain't got no worse sit my lid. I have to take the lid over here and set it. It should be about ready to drain now, though. Yeah. Yep, it's starting to stick to the pot, so you, it does that, you know it's about ready. Or, I said the pot could cast there and skill it. Okay, y'all. I'm going to drain this. While I'm draining this, I'm going to put you in zone hole. I'll get the grease out of it here. I've got to find my drainer. <laughs> 